So this is a video I wanted to do about the new Axis pedals that I just got. Um, mine are a little customized, and they're also the upgraded version from the old bottle. So I'll try to get in here and show you as much as I can. Um, I got X shortboards on an actual A shortboard pedal, so I'll have the variable drive lever on both over here. And got the Sonic hammers with them. And I also, something that I usually get is the extra long light duty spring because I prefer a lighter spring tension than a lot of guys do, which is cool. But one of the greatest features about this newer model is if you look at the connecting rod here, it's kind of hard to see, I guess, maybe because of the glare, but this part up here is flat. So essentially, and under here you still have um, the little Allen wrench you have two of the little allen wrench bolts but now it's pretty easy to loosen these two under and then loosen this one and just slide back and forth so it's like super easy to adjust this on the fly and also it's built to work with how they set up the slave pedal as well i'm not sure if they did anything new over here but you can see the spring is actually on the slave here so that if i wanted to i could just pop my beater out over here throw it in over here, stick it on the second bass drum, and I'm rolling. You know, it's it's no time to, to switch over to two separate pedals. And also, this allows me to be able to adjust the height of my footboard over here by just adjusting the beater angle here, which is also done on this side now as well. I know I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, but I'm just trying to show you guys details that I would want to know if I was looking into it. They also upgraded the bearings on the heel plates as well. So now it's it's like a ball bearing system as opposed to what they had in before, which makes it even smoother when you're playing. So Chuck at Axis was super cool. He actually built these for me. Um, I don't think they even had the short board elements in production. They were mostly doing it on the long boards. And even though I do like the long boards, I'm, I'm a much bigger fan of short boards because I like to rest my heels on the actual base plate. And on the long boards, I always feel kind of off balance because of, you know, it being kind of somewhere a little over and I feel like just kind of unstable. So Chuck was super cool and built these for me before I think they're even going into production. So that's how awesome they are at Axis. They'll, they'll customize stuff for you and they're just the coolest people. And... I've been talking with them and working with them for years, and they're just really awesome folks. And that makes playing their gear that much more enjoyable, even though the gear itself is phenomenal. Uh, having great people to interact with at the company is really, really a blessing as well. So uh, just wanted to kind of point a few of these things out so you could see. Like I said, the glare from the camera is makes it maybe a little difficult to see that that's flat. But it is. And... It makes everything super easy because now when you take this off, and since the spring is over here, you know, this just stays up. And even when I readjust this to put it in a bag or whatever, it doesn't, like before on the old one, if you loosened it, you know, it would mess up your positioning over here of your pedal. So now it doesn't do that. Like if you loosened it to pack it up, now when you loosen it to pack it up, this just stays the way you set it. So your pedal board height is set the way you want it by doing it over here now as opposed to having to control it through the connecting rod. And since I am completely anal about that stuff, that really uh, was awesome that they added that new feature in to their pedals and redesigned that. So uh, from what I know, they're going to upgrade all their double pedals to, to this kind of a setup. But I just wanted to kind of share this video with you guys and hopefully guys and gals. And hopefully that you find it informative because when I go looking for gear, I go scouring for as much information as I possibly can through articles and YouTubes and whatnot. Because, like I said, I'm really anal about gear, especially pedals, because uh, I'm kind of a pedal junkie and I love pedals. So there you have it. If you have any questions, post them down at the bottom and hopefully I'll see them and be able to respond. I just got these last week, so I'm still 
getting used to them, but they feel amazing. And I'm just super stoked. All right. God bless everybody. See ya.